J Squad and welcome back to another video. And as you can see by the title, today is more of an up close and personal video. Today I'm going to be speaking on a couple things, and that's why I have the camera so close up to me so you guys can feel the energy. You know what I mean? Um, today I'm going to be giving you guys a progress update on how I'm doing, and also, you know, since the last video, which would be the homeless video, I don't know if that would be the last video, but no, since the homeless video. Um, that was a little while ago and I just wanted to let you guys know how I'm doing, what my next steps are and you know I hope this video will motivate people to keep pushing on so that's why I'm doing it because I know I'm not the only one out there so I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe on this video and stay tuned for the rest of this video Yeah, guys, 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 guys honestly it has not been an easy journey for me at all a lot has gone on since you know May and since I posted a homeless video a lot of people have reached out to me and it's opened up my eyes to see that there's a lot of people going through similar things and even worse and you know it's sad to know that there's so many people out there alone without their families and so many people going like feeling the same things as me even worse and you know a huge shout out to Gully Philip that actually reposted the video video and through that a lot of people reached out to me um, from him posting it and you know I spoke to a lot of people and it's just you know it actually hurts my heart to know that there's so many people out there going through a similar situation and that's why I felt led to do this video today to provide you guys with an update and you know just let you guys know how I'm doing basically so like literally since I posted that video guys a lot has transpired and a lot has happened since I think June the 16th that I posted on that video I actually lost my job and that was a huge blow to me because those that know me know that I'm very you know independent and I like to work for my things and the fact that I lost my job it was a huge blow to me because I was already experiencing a lot mentally depressed stressed you know anxiety everything and when you know I was moving from people's house to house house to house I finally found a room and that's the room that I'm in currently as you can see that I repainted it redid the walls put up blinds got my bed in here although it's not the best place I'm grateful for the roof over my head and I'm not comfortable here and I'm not, you know, I'm not comfortable and happy of where I am and God don't do that because it will help me but it's not ideally clean to my standard and I'm not comfortable here at all but I know this is not my last destination I know God has something better out there for me and you know since I found this room I was actually prepared to go back to work and I had the mindset yeah you know I'm gonna go back to work I've got you know I'm starting to get my stuff together so it's motivated me to go back to work and work even harder to see where life takes me so I go into work now and they call me in no I go into work now thinking it's just a normal work day I get called to the side and I get brought into the meeting room to be told you know because of your homeless circumstances and the amount of times that my mum's keeping me at the house and stuff they can't accommodate that as a business and because I saw my probationary period which I wasn't aware of um, they have to terminate my contract because they can't you know keep putting up with the fact that my mum keeps kicking me out and all of these kind of things and I said to them that you know I, me, be, me being homeless wasn't my fault so how do you expect me to you know survive now, you're, now that you're taking my primary source of income away they just said to me you know they just can't accommodate that as a business and they have to let me go and then my, my contract was terminated when I was when that was explained to me that was I wasn't even upset I think I wasn't even upset I didn't have no feelings towards it because in that moment you know a lot has happened already so I'm just like wow I think thing life has thrown at me and then I then got into a panic, a panic attack to how am I going to pay my rent what am I going to do wait 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 so I'm thinking like as like why does God keep doing this to me why is this happening and where are you God and you know it, it what I grew to learn is that a lot of things happen in life and you just have to accept it because everything happens for a reason and that was one of the things that happened and the next thing was the whole situation from June 16th up until now I've gone through a whirlwind of emotions one day I'm happy the next minute I'm depressed next minute I'm having mood swings sometimes I even think I have split personality disorder because I just switch up so quickly and I'm working on that as myself because I'm not trying to let this situation bring me down to nothing do you know what I mean I'm trying to use this situation as a motivator to get better and as you lots would have known from my last video 
well if you lots watched all of my homeless video you lots know that you know because of my situation the stress I was going through I actually dropped out of college and you know when I lost my job people were telling me to go back to college and I was just like no I don't I don't really want to do it can't go back there because I don't have the strength mentally and you know knowing the reasons why I left college in the first place I couldn't face going back there because I'm just like you know it's more like facing up to my fears and you know re you know re-entering back into a place where I left there because of everything that I was going through and then to go back into that place it was very scary for me and I was just thinking like you know I was at a point where I was like if God no not even if God I was at a place where if life is going to deal with me like this and if I'm going to continue to go through situations like this I don't want it anymore I don't want to work hard anymore because it just seems as if life isn't treating me well and like it just seems as if I'm going to turn out to be nothing and me saying that me admitting that to myself was a lot because those that know me that know that I'm a very ambitious person they know that I have a lot of dreams and hopes and I was just at a point of standstill like if life is going to really deal me like this and I don't want it I don't want to work hard anymore because it just seems as if like you know I'm just I'm not I just I'm not just not I'm just not meant to move I sat at a point of reflection and I was just like to myself am I gonna let this situation defeat me or am I gonna use this as my motivation and use this to be a part of my story of my success story and I was just like you know this situation has taken so much away from you mentally physically financially education wise why are you gonna let it take away something more and i then got into a point of i'm gonna claim everything that was taken from me my mind my money my education everything i'm claiming it all back and from that i took myself up and i went back to college and i then went to enroll to this day i am a college student i've gone back and i'm just saying that you know the reason why i went back was because i want to make something of myself i didn't want to be that person that's like oh my mom did this to me this is why i'm certain type of way or my mom did this to me this is why i'm a bum and all these kind of things that's not how i went to live my life i'm going back to college because i want to achieve something for myself i need to come out of this situation with something positive um that positive thing will be for me to go back and graduate and get my qualifications that's why i'm going back to college i'm not going back because anybody told me to or you know i'm just using it as an easy selling way i'm going there to achieve something for myself because i need to get something good out of this situation life has been treating me not even life but a lot has been happening that's been you know just playing horrible and i'm just looking at it as i need to claim back everything that was taken from me and that's starting back with my education so i'm going back to college and i'm getting my qualifications because you know education is key to the future and i don't want to you know put myself at a disservice and disadvantage by not going back to get my qualifications that's why you know i just sat at a point of reflection and i was just like you know what jamal just get up and go and do it in terms of friends and family none of my family has actually reached out to me to this day i'm talking about biological family none of them has reached out to me none of them have called to see if i'm okay none of them know if i'm sleeping on the street nothing nobody's reached out to me and you know what i've realized is sometimes god has to take isolate you and make you be alone and work on it and better yourself individually than rather have everybody like sometimes when everybody's around you you block yourself from seeing your vision but when you're alone you give your, you have the space to think and plan what your next move is but it's sad to know that i don't none of my family was concerned enough to come and call me but you know we move because at the end of the day sometimes you have to walk a path by yourself rather than walking with everybody else and I'm seeing that God is taking me through a way that nobody else is supposed to go and sometimes I'm supposed to take that path alone and from that you know a lot of it's it's been easier to see who is meant to be around me from who is not and you know when you go through things like this you need to be careful of who you trust because it's not everybody that has your best intentions at heart and I wish I knew that sooner because arguing has been had a lot of people you know some disagreements and stuff and I'm glad I went through it because if anything it's strengthened me up as a human and it's given me the experience needed to go through life because it's, I was at a point where I was just like why am I going through all of this at such a young age why like I wish I was just a normal teenager but then I realized normal is not the normal normal is not new normal anymore normal is never normal there's no normal teenage life and but I would just I would have appreciated to not go through all of this at such a young age but sometimes you know what I reflected on is that God is maybe taking me through these experiences to give me better preparation for life to mature in my 
mentality and think wiser in decisions that I'm making because maybe he's trying to bless me with something more in the future. I don't want to try and go on blah 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 on religion and God because I understand that not everybody is religious that's watching this video but I can only talk on what I've experienced and the epiphanies that I've had. You know, God was a big part of it also. Not having my family around me at times I do really feel lonely and I'm just like, why am I alone? I ain't got, sometimes I don't have nobody to call. I'm just here, sometimes I'm just here drowning in my own thoughts and sometimes I am a huge overthinker. I overthink a lot. And if you leave me too long, I will literally just get lost in my thoughts. I wish I was still in a family environment. Although it wasn't healthy for me, I did like being in a like a household. Being in a room, it's not, I wouldn't, it's not healthy because you're basically trapped in four walls and it's like you're in a prison. Although you're free to leave whenever you want to leave, but you know that you only come back to a room and you haven't got space to go roam about. And to reach to this point, it was really degrading for me because if anything, I always used to look at homeless people and be like, I don't want ever, I don't want that to ever be me. That's not the direction where I want my life to go. Although my, my relationship with my mum is not the best, but I, I always thought in my head that it would never turn out to this. I'd always look at them, I'd give them food, sometimes I'd have a conversation with them, but I always, you know, had in my mind and even prayed sometimes that I don't want that to be me. I just hope that me and my mom can sort something out and whatever, whatever, because I never want I never wanted this to be me. I never wanted this to be a part of my story. The greater the battle, the greater the victory, right? So, you know, everybody that has reached out to me, I'm so ever grateful for because a lot of your messages has encouraged me to work harder as an individual and open up my eyes to a lot like to know that you know i'm not alone going through all of this and maybe my story can be an encouragement to others to do better and that's why you know i'm so pushing so hard on this youtube channel because i'm not trying to give up on it because i know that my story and when people like when they see when people see the elevation it can motivate them to do more to 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 it gives them a light to know that you know this person went through it and they came out the other side, maybe I can do it too. One of the greatest things was I was not alone when all of this happened. I did have somebody that I could call as in a friend or somebody that I considered family. I did have somebody that I could call and that is not the case for most people because most people have nobody when these situations happen. It was the most embarrassing part of my life of 2019 because to call somebody and be like oh can i stay with you because it was uh boy. and even like going down to the john wilkes house which is the homeless you know homeless place where register register yourself as up as homeless i'm looking around at everybody and i'm just like is this where is this where my life has ended up and you know i haven't cried once i cried once and still haven't been angry to this day. I don't feel no emotions towards it and I don't know if that's a negative thing or a positive thing but I still haven't felt the emotions that I needed to feel. Being in this room has made me so antisocial and that's one of the reasons why I so, so, was so scared to come out to college because I've now gotten used to being alone and to now put myself back into that social environment full force because going back to college you have to socialize there's there's like thousands of people in that college and i had a huge anxiety going back to college for my first day because i was just like there's so much people god knows i don't talk to people and it was just it was just too much because I'm, I'm just thinking like thoughts are racing through my mind like wait what if people are going to look at me any type of way what if this what if that like suppose the same thing happens that happens last time and i'm going to end up dropping out again i'm going to end up as nothing like all of these thoughts were running through my head when i went to college and also to make it worse knowing that i would have to socialize with people because i've gotten so used to being alone and then putting myself back in that environment where i now have to socialize and now make friends and do all of this and do all of that that was a whole nother stress added to my load and if anything, I encourage people to talk because when you, especially when you got the, when you feel like you've got the world on your shoulders, the worst you can do is keep your mouth shut. I'll never suggest that to anybody. Don't do it because it will, it will really deteriorate your mind, your mentality, like your mental health. It really brought me to a point of low, 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 lowness. It really does affect different aspects of your life because when you leave something unaddressed, it gives it a license to roam free in your mind and sometimes it's doing more harm than good. Or it's like saying, having a glass of water, once the water reaches to the top, it's just gonna overflow. And this is what I'm saying, when you hold situations like this, 
in your in your mind for so long it will outspin to other aspects of your life people question you oh why are you like this why are you like that and you're just like oh i don't know but you do know because you're not addressing your situations and you know i'm glad that i didn't keep signing up about what i was going through because had i done that i would still be struggling to this day when i released that video i was just like I, there was a huge sigh of relief there was some fear when i released it but it was a huge relief for me because holding that in my mind for so long it was even just holding it in for the, the, for, the for the three months for the four months sorry that was that was a lot that was a lot i would never suggest anybody to do it to do it because i'm walking around with, with a huge secret now that i put it out there i can live my life freely you can click on my youtube channel you can see my story you already know what you're getting when you're speaking to me do you know what i'm saying and i would never suggest anybody to keep silent because when you keep silent you just do more harm to yourself even if you don't put it on social media like i did speaking to somebody just living your truth alone is better than hiding it and I don't get the people I don't get the people that hide their life and hide what they're doing because all you're doing is just you're hurting yourself. That's all you're doing, you're hurting yourself. It makes you a better person. And that's and I didn't want to turn out like that. I'm looking at it as if I put this out there, what is the what's the pros and what's the cons? Me keeping it in, I know it's just gonna do it's gonna do me bad, it's gonna hurt my mind, I'm really an overthinker and I have to worry about keeping it away from people and stuff so i'm thinking you know what? this is my way out i'm just gonna tell everybody that way i can just get on with life i can just move into the next stage of my life and this is what i'm saying me putting it out there was me signifying to myself that i'm ready to move on to the next phase of my life it has happened it is now in the past i can't keep looking back all i can do is look forward and if anything is always look forward never look back the past is the past the past has already happened and it's always up it's up to you whether you let that past affect your future or let your past stay in the past you dictate what in which direction your future is going to go and you know although the first part of 2019 was bad i'm determined to make the rest of 2019 great only you dictate in what direction your life is going to go in and nobody else is accountable for your life but yourself nobody else is accountable for you but yourself when you die, you can only give account for yourself, not other people. So don't live your life blaming other people for, you know, things that has happened in the past. You is up to you to change the narrative, you know? Do better. <laughs> Do better. Do better. You know, really pay attention to your friends, especially people that you consider family, because you don't know what they're facing. They look like they got their shit together, but sometimes, nine times out of ten, they don't. They, they have a lot of problems that they're not dealing with. So check up on your friends. Check up on, you know, everybody that you care about. And even like with that, be kind to strangers because you don't know what that stranger is facing. And some people are bitter because of their experiences. And you know, it, it's taken a lot for me to acknowledge that because even when I go out there sometimes and I bring food to the homeless people, I speak to them and most of them don't have family. Some of them, some of them, some of them are even scared to go back to their families. And listen to me, family is not defined by blood. Family is people that have kept it real with you since day one the people that have never left you and that's what i'm saying guys I appreciate the people that have always been around you that have never switched up on you because honestly those are the people that you're going to need in your time of need and it's important to show your gratitude towards people because honestly if it wasn't for some people that i had around me i probably would have ended up on the streets and although my situation isn't the worst it is still my worst and who feels it knows it i'm excited for the future what the future has to hold although i don't know what my future is yet all i know is that my future has to be bright sometimes god has to bring you down before he brings you back up for you to appreciate the things in life more and i'm starting to realize that that's maybe that's what he's doing sometimes he's bringing me so through through things to know that you know you've experienced it and and, and you're going to appreciate what he has for you next this time next year i'm hopefully you know I have my life together and by the end of this year hopefully i'm out of this place i really want to get out of here um by next year i really just want to have a fresh start you know i want to go into 2020 with you know with accomplishments and me starting to get my life somewhere and you know starting to get things moving get the ball rolling and that's why i'm happy that i'm going back to college because i'm grateful for everything life has to offer me i'm grateful for waking up for another to another day although i'm alone but i am grateful and i'm also grateful for the people that are around me the people that are showing me love the people that are that, that care for me i'm appreciative to every single one of you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel i'm so grateful for you guys because 
Wait, I think at this point, I think when I post this video, I might be at 200 subscribers. And you know, just to know that 200 people that, that are there tuning, tuning into my videos, that are dedicated to watching my videos, I am so grateful for. And um, I'm hoping that you guys will stay on my journey and witness the growth and it will motivate you to do the same. That's why I came up with the name J. And J is J-A-E, Jamal Akeem Edwards. The reason why I've done that is because I'm using my past to make a new person. Do you know what I mean? So there's meaning behind the name J is my past is my past, but I'm making that into a new beginning. That is the meaning of J and that's why I came up with that name. So, you know, the more of the story is, although, you know, life isn't great, life isn't fantastic, life isn't gonna be what you want it to be. You're gonna get your tests, you're gonna get your trials, but it's up to you and how you deal with your situations. And, you know, nothing in life comes easy and you're just gonna continue to get tested, but it's just, you just gotta persevere through it. And, you know, not everybody's meant to be on a journey. Sometimes you're meant to just go through things alone. Sometimes you just have to do it alone before God starts to bring the people then back around you. And sometimes you have to evaluate yourself and see your faults and errors and try to correct them because sometimes you are at fault and it's not sometimes it's not everybody else sometimes it's yourself and appreciate the family that you have around you if you've got family around you appreciate them show them love if they cuss you take the cussing as in sometimes they cuss you out of criticism because a lot of you know black households you have a lot of black parents that will just be like oh why are you like this why are you like this? just take it because most of the time if they don't when they stop cussing you when they stop trying to guide you and tell you when you're going wrong that is a problem because it, it means they no longer care so the fact that they're, they're killing up themselves to even stress themselves out to you even you know call you or ask you where you are or tell you to come home at a certain time it shows that they care appreciate it because i wish i had i wish i had all of that i wish i still had all of that so my goals for 2019 is to get to a better place mentally physically and emotionally my goals are to finish college my goals are to get home my goals are to rebuild relationships between me and my siblings my goals are to show you know give back to the people that have given to me even more and my final goal for 2019 is to grow this channel i want every single one of you watching this video to like comment and subscribe i would appreciate it if you're not joining the j squad because you know i want everybody to be a part of my journey i want everybody to see where i end up although i don't know where i'm going yet i know that it's going to be somewhere great and i really want to be able to you know encourage you guys to stay strong keep going at it because no matter what situations are thrown at you you are able to overcome them and you know i'm still learning and i want to you know share my experiences with you guys i want to you know i want you guys to see the growth the the, the evolution of jay edwards and i know that 2020 2019 2020 is going to be a great year for me and i want this channel to grow along with me as well so i'm not going to be giving up on this youtube thing i've got good videos coming out for you guys i've got a creative mindset i've got my head screwed on so you're also going to get the good top content i promise you that i promise you that so stay tuned and thank you guys for watching this video and this is my life update hey, hey, hey.